Back now to Lindsay Anderson because this winter storm is on its way and we want to know more about the timing. Lindsay, a tricky one for you. It is and definitely the snowfall amounts and ice accumulations is the challenge in this forecast because it all depends on when the warmer air aloft moves in, changing the snowfall to sleet and ice. But let's begin with a beautiful sunrise view from Floyd County this Valentine's Day morning. Jerry Carr, thank you very much for that. Temperatures are cold. He certainly braved them in the single digits across the New River Valley in Mountain Empire. It's 13 degrees right now in Martinsville, 15 at Smith Mountain Lake and one degrees right now in Lewisburg. Clouds will slowly stream in across the area later this afternoon because our winter storm is inching just a bit closer. You can see it is gaining strength across the Midwest. It'll slide down to the southeast across the Tennessee River Valley in the next few hours. But overall today, your area wide high 27 degrees, still very cold, mostly cloudy skies this afternoon, but it looks like if you have any plans for this holiday, you are good to go because it's uh, the snow is not going to arrive until later on tonight. 23 the high in Blacksburg, 27 in Martinsville, 24 degrees in Covington and 22 is your high in Lewisburg. So let's time out the snow for you. First of all, looks like it will arrive between 8 to 10 p.m., especially across our mountain communities from the highlands back towards the mountain empire. As it moves to the east, it has to saturate this very dry air, so it might take a little while before the snow reaches the surface. But I do believe by the time you wake up on Monday morning, all of us will see some steady snow falling across southwest and central Virginia. That'll continue until Monday afternoon when the warm air above our heads moves into the area. So you are, can already see the pink on this map. That means sleet and ice will be falling across south side and even parts of the Piedmont in Virginia around 11 a.m. and noon on Monday. That warm air will lift to the north, changing any of that snow over to sleet towards the Roanoke Valley later in the afternoon. And then everyone will be within the sleet and freezing rain regimen come 8 to 9 p.m. on Monday. Then changing all over to plain old rain, Tuesday early morning before completely exiting come Tuesday afternoon. So it's a lot of different precipitation types that we have to deal with. But let's start off with your snowfall accumulations. The majority of the snow will fall west of the Blue Ridge, especially across those western slopes from the highlands back to the mountain empire. There we could expect maybe six to nine inches of snow, three to six inches possible from the Roanoke Valley, even Lynchburg included with that Blacksburg as well. Lesser amounts though towards Danville, South Boston, you will see one to three inches of snow with way more ice because the transition from snow to sleet will be a lot quicker there. And this is where you'll see a lot more of that ice accumulation. And of course, the highest risk for power outages because winds will pick up Monday afternoon as that ice accumulates on some of those power lines. We'll have to monitor that for you. But look what happens for the rest of the week. We warm up quickly with highs in the middle 40s, even reaching the 50s come Friday and Saturday. But these are all highlighted in your impact days. And of course, we are tracking it all for you. Mm. over the next 24 hours. Still not above freezing though today. No, we Valentine's are far day. below that. Maybe yeah. a good time to just stay inside, you know, when you have Keep the, each other warm. The dessert and the candles not and the flowers idea. and all that stuff. Hot just chocolate. a thought. Man, if you haven't given it any thought, you probably should get started.